Righty ho, time for some pigeons. Okay, ladies, washing machine's gonna get a hammer in. Please start, please start, please start, please start. Could really do with you starting. I've got a load of barley to go and load. Oh no. Oh, just about. That's a very small part of the battle. Actually getting it along the road is the other part of the battle. Come on! We almost made it! There's the farm. Sit and prime it a few times, turn it over for 60 seconds and away it'll go. Oh, there you go. Okay, Laurie's not here yet. Bit annoying. I got told it was going to be here at half seven. I've got stuff to do along the road. I've got a cast to sort out. I'm going to have to just abandon this. Kev will be along in five minutes so he can load the lorries with that. There's one coming at quarter nine, and one that was meant to be here at half seven. No sign of it, so. I'm going back to sort out some cattle. Back to a reliable vehicle again. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Come on, buddy. Drink up. Chop, chop. There's about to be an altercation between a dog and a calf. Calf's not realised. Who's going to back down first? Oh, Betty, you lose. You lose. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've just had another set of twins. Jesus! Another twin. Okay, ladies, washing machine's gonna get a hammer in. Right, you are out of here. Betty, you too. I really probably shouldn't have the dog about because cows will kick off a wee bit, especially when they're calving. Saying that she's always about, so they are fairly used to her. They're not too bothered. She never comes in the pen here. She always stays out the front there. Or she'll go down that passage. Anyway, right, twins, one and two. Another set. Need to get them both a drink. I must have missed them this morning. I've been along the road to see about that lorry. Before I went, I checked all the cows and I must have missed them. They must have been right hiding in that corner. Anyway, they're all right. Need to get them sorted out. Granny's just been up having a look at the calves. Dropping off the Scottish farmer as well. Um, I've got one of these twins on and drinking. That one. But this one just has no soup reflex. You know when you shove a thumb in its mouth and it doesn't... It just... Uh, a bit annoying. Someone commented in a video the other day saying I speak like a slaughterman, not a farmer when I'm talking about my cattle. I think it's because I, I call them beasts. I think a lot of people in Scotland call the cattle the beasts. It's an affectionate term. Anyway, he clearly didn't pick up on that. It's got a wee bit of a souk reflex. Come on, have a wee. A little bit, not much. So I'm going to go and... There they go. I'm going to go and take a bit of milk off of her in a bottle. Try her just lying down and get some into her. So she can realise that the souk reflex gets her some milk. So hopefully that'll get her going a bit and then we can get her on the teats. Come on, there you go, smashing. Five sets of twins in 10 cows, nine cows, nine, 10 cows have calved. I need to check back my book. It's not amazing it's sucking anyway, this calf. I'm just gonna bottle all of it. Righty ho, you sorted yourself out. You got tubed in the end, I gave up. Didn't have the patience. I can let you out now. Get away. There you go. They've worked out the coziest spot, these calves, they're not daft. Finally looks like a good spell of weather. Kev's ploughing right now. Tonight looks dry, tomorrow looks dry, the weekend looks dry, the weekend looks still. So we might get some fert spread this weekend. That'd be nice.
Since the weather's quite nice, Kev's getting a bit of plowing done. Beauty. It's coming up okay, a wee bit shiny. Not too bad, you can see where it's a wee bit shiny and clumpy, but we'll take it. Stone grape's still standing up, but it's working fine. Kev's just gonna keep going for a few hours yet tonight. Kev was in a different field before, but shifted. Found the right wet patch, so we shifted up to this field. It's a bit windy out there. I'm not complaining because it's drying things, so you probably couldn't hear me, but. Just need to put the weights on the front there again. When it was frosty, Kev went out into some fields to clear some stones that were lying and he took the weights off just so he wasn't running around the fields with loads of weight. They are all sitting right there. Now we're good to go. Weights are back on. That's one thing. That's another thing for the workshop. Is to make a quick release version of this. That you just lift that off with a forklift all at once. Will that ever get made? I don't know if that job will ever make it to the top of the list. Smashing. Full tank of diesel. One morning light. Good to go. Right. Calf to feed. Then some pigeons are getting some instant lead poisoning. Here we go. You're saving me a job. What's the calf's name? Pancake Sparkle. <laughs> Why is it called Pancake Sparkle? Because it was a girl and it was born on Pancake Day. Wee Pancake. Pancake the pet. What is do it? you know what breed Pancake is? No. What do you think? Think about what breed the bulls are. Do you know what breed our bulls are? Emma, you do, do you? No. You don't know? Do you know what know, know what the black one is? Uh, Aberdeen Yeah. And the brown ones are? Simmental. Yeah, there we go. Right. So what do you think this one is? A Simmental or an Aberdeen Angus? Aberdeen Angus. Why? Because it's grey. Yeah, because it's almost black. So all the black ones are Aberdeen Anguses. Emily and Freddie have politely asked if you would subscribe and like the video. Please like the video and please subscribe. There you go. Is that a good idea? Yes. Yeah. We're at 23,230 subscribers right now. So if we get to 23,300 subscribers, you can both have a chocolate biscuit. Okay. Cheap labour. Cheap labour? Cheap labour? Cheap labour? Cheap labour, yeah. You get paid in biscuits, don't you? Yeah. Right, yo, time for some pigeons. Someone was asking me what make of gun I've got. Is it a Winchester Select Field? I am a mediocre shot at the best of times. And then it comes to pigeons even worse. I managed to get two last night. One is currently on the roof right there. Next time Dad or Kev's here, I need them to give me a lift up there to get it off the roof. I was praying it didn't land on one of the window sheets and crack it. Nothing about here at yard two, going to yard one. Yard one through the winter when there's no light after half five. I can't really do any shooting along there because during the day the farm shop's open. If you've been before, the farm shop's right next to the farm. It's actually the back of the shop's in farm buildings. So I can't be tearing about with a shotgun letting rip. So the light's starting now to, it's 10 past six and it's just the right light now. It's probably actually 10, 15 minutes too late. It's getting a bit dark for catching the pigeons coming in. The light has vanished, but we'll see how we get on.
Four from four. Which is uh, better than normal for me in pigeons anyway. If I hit a pigeon every other shot, I'm fairly happy with that, so job done. That's four less than there was yesterday. Here's a picture of me getting shown the ropes. Most important part of farming, peace time. Got the sandwiches up in the cab. Probably getting in trouble for that nowadays, I'm too young. And the old Dominator combine, that's my grandpa. Grandpa was big into his cattle. Aberdeen Angus, he bred bulls. He sold 12 out to Argentina. More about that in a, in a later video, in a few days time, because I've, I've talked about it, but it's still to go into a video. But Grandpa was big on his Aberdeen Angus. He'd be quite chuffed to see cattle back at the farm. Yeah.